Hi there and welcome back to my channel and this update for Level Up. This is a project that I really have grown to love. I love the fact that you get to use the whole palette as well as hitting pan. Like it's, it couldn't get better than that, you know? If you're wondering why I'm filming like this, because you usually see my face, it's because they have renovated my apartment and I am just not, um, I just don't want to film <laughs> uh, where I usually sit right now because it's a mess in my living room. So you've joined me at my craft station. <laughs> but yeah, I, I hope you will enjoy this video anyway. And let me know if you actually prefer it this way. Maybe you can see it better. I don't know. Anyway, the palette that I've been working on for level two is The Magic by Juvia's Place. And I'm going to scooch over so that you can see on the other side where I was last month. I think the owner before me had swatched the colors or swatched a few colors and used the very dark purple in this a few times because I think there was a dip when I started. Uh, but otherwise it was new. It was new to me when I rolled it in. So it's been really, really exciting to me. So that is how it looked. And let's see where we're at. My goal was to hit pan in two shades and to also use all the other shades twice. So let's see how it looks. And look at that. Can you see those two pans? And we have some dips going on in the other shades. I am so pleased with how this looks. <laughs> Uh, especially since I have three eyeshadow projects going on at the same time. So we have a pan in two of the shades. I have used all of the shades at least once. And let's see if I have used all of them twice. Because then, if I have, we will be able to roll in another palette. So let's start off by saying this is the most colorful, or not the most colorful palette that I have worked on but I have never experimented so much in my life with eyeshadows and actually tried so many different colors. So I am so happy with this and I really, um, I really enjoy some of the combination I came up with and I have no idea if I looked good in it, but I know that I did a very good job uh, with the eyeshadows because I think it looked gorgeous, you know, up close. I'm not sure if I personally fit in that like if my complexion is right or my hair color goes together with this or you know maybe it looked crazy but if you just look at the eyeshadow work like I think it looked good <laughs> at least I do so let's see where we're at and how many times I used each and every shadow the first one Nubia I used twice and I'm really not a gold person I I almost can't stand gold on myself so it's really hard for me to use, but I used it twice, um, got it over with pretty fast. Zakaya or Zakia, uh, I've used three times and I actually used it when I used it very, very slightly <laughs> in my crease and I topped it off with Ozun. That really made a good combination. I thought it would be much more pigmented, but I'm also learning that it depends on the brush. It really depends on the brush. So Ozune, I used 13 times, but I hit pan after 12. Then we have Kessie, and I used this 33 times, and I hit pan after 26 uses. And let me tell you this, this is the best concealer I have ever encountered. I've had so many blemishes to cover up and this really, really did the job. I love it. Um, I have discovered other eyeshadows, but I just think it's getting better and better for each eyeshadow I try out. But I think because Juvia's Place, um, at least from, from this and from what I've heard, um, because they're so pigmented, I think it works so well for that uh, on my skin tone. So, <laughs> so yeah, I'm very, very glad that I have that. Um, then we come to Zuba. I've used this twice. Nana, I used five times. I think I used this as a bronzer once just to try it out. And I think it worked out pretty well, but I am trying to pan another bronzer. So I didn't want to do that too much. And then we come to Boronu. 
and I used that three times. Kogi, I used three times, and I think two of those times I used it as a blush. Now it is pigmented, but if I just took the, you know, the, the smallest amount possible and put it on my cheek, it, it really, it really looked well. So right now I kind of see this as a face palette <laughs> just because I have like a bronzer, a blush, a concealer. <laughs> I love it. Then we come to this more like colorful section <laughs> of this palette. And here's where I had a lot of fun. And here's where I think the name of this palette comes in, the magic, because these colors do not look swatched as they do in the pan. So for example, this looks really black. This is dark purple. This looks dark green, but it's actually black. And then we have like a very, very, very deep blue, but it's not that deep. So the shades are throwing me off. <laughs> But I got some really, really good combinations out of this. I loved wearing purples, which I actually wanted to play around with purples last month. And I just thought, oh, I really hope I get something with purples uh, next month. So I am so happy that I got these and it looked good, I think. Then we come to like greens and blues or actually not really blue. This is like, I would say like silver. It looks blue because this one is a light blue and beside that it looks more blue than it does if I... Oh, sorry <laughs> for shaking the camera. Um, but it's actually very gray or silvery. And this is a light blue, but I could use that like as, a, as an inner corner highlight or something. And I totally forgot to say how many times I use these. Faso twice, um, Aja three times, Vai three times. Uh, Yemoya I actually used six times. Like I said, I used it a lot for my uh, for my inner corners of my eyes. And Ife I used twice, Yara three times, Buzo three times, and Jeyide twice. So I think I have done some major progress on this palette and I'm really happy that I didn't just use these two and then you know everything else twice and just left it there. I actually played around um, and that's kind of what I do in the beginning of the month. I play with the shadows as much as I want. And then after like two weeks, I, I kind of panic and, and feel like, oh, I will never have the time to finish anything or to hit pan on anything or, you know, and then I start to focus more on what I want to do <laughs> or what I want to hit pan on. So, so I really didn't know if I would be able to hit two pans in this, but then I hit pan in this and I was like, oh, this is not as deep as I thought. So I will probably be able to hit this pan if I focus on this palette instead of my other projects. <laughs> but it turned out I could actually hit pan on those shades very, very quickly. So I had time for the other palettes as well, which is so exciting. So I finished this level. I got to play with this amazing palette in a way that I did not think I would ever use this palette. So I am... I'm so excited for this project and the opportunity it gave me because if I would get just one color from here in my pan, those eyeshadows, for example, I would just work on that and be too intimidated by the other colors to even try. But now when I have to try all the colors, I really enjoy it. So we're leveling up. Let's see what our next palette is. So here we have the Spin the Wheel app and... I'm gonna spin and see what palette we're working on for the next month. Makeup Mecca Pretty Mats. Oh, well, let's get it. So here we have the Pretty Mats by Makeup Mecca. This is how it looks. So it's only nine pans. In here, it's brand new. I haven't even swatched them, I think. Maybe this one I've used once. It looks touched. I actually thought they would be more difficult shades, but I think this is going to be pretty easy, actually, to hit pan on. So the shades I think I will hit pan on are this one, because I always hit pan in the lightest shade. Um, this one, maybe, to set my eyeshadow base, because... Um, I had a similar color in my Panda palette, but I have a hip pen on that, so I can actually work on this now. 
And then I would probably work on this one in my eyebrows or maybe that one or maybe even this one because I do want to work with a kind of pinky or mauvish tone in my Panda palette. I don't know, but I think this is going to be easier kind of because I can use it like every single day because they're browns. So it's not as bad as I feared actually. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with this for level three. So yeah, that's what we'll be working on. I hope you enjoy this update. Let me know if you like this version better, where you can actually maybe see it better. Um, or if you want to see my face, let me know. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll have an amazing evening and a good week. Bye.